The United Arab Emirates and China surpassed the United States in terms of the number of exhibitors participating in the ongoing weapons fair in Turkey. Trisha Molina has the news. The 16th International Defense Industry Fair, or IDEF 2023, currently taking place in Istanbul, has been flocked by different defense companies worldwide, including China and the UAE. The trade fair started on the 25th of July and will end on the 28th. The biennial event, which began in 1993, gives a significant opportunity for defense companies to exhibit high-tech products and develop cooperation between the national and international exhibitors. More than 70 defense companies from China and 15 from the UAE participated in the event, while only six exhibitors from the United States attended. For this year, approximately 1,300 domestic and foreign companies linked to defense, security, marine, aviation, and aerospace industries are expected to participate in the fair. The 15th edition, held in 2021, was attended by more than 1,000 companies from 53 countries. The trade fair, held every two years in Istanbul, has been ranked as the fourth largest defense trade show worldwide. Reporting, this has been Trisha Molina, SMI. International efforts to transfer oil from a decaying tanker to prevent billions of dollars worth of humanitarian catastrophe have started in Yemen. Melchizedek Kadiz reports. After not being maintained for eight years, international organizations have warned that a dilapidated tanker stranded off the coast of Yemen is at risk of exploding and triggering one of the largest oil spills recorded in history. Built by a Japanese company in the 1970s, the FSO Safer was sold to the Yemeni government in the 1980s to store up to 3 million barrels of export oil pumped from fields in eastern Yemen. The supertanker has been moored in Yemen's west coast for more than 30 years, but maintenance operations for the vessel had been suspended since 2015 due to the ongoing civil war in the Arab sovereign state. SFO Safer's structural integrity has been compromised and is at risk of breaking apart for exploding after not being maintained for the past eight years. The cost of cleanup alone is estimated at $20 billion. The stranded vessel carries more than 1.1 million barrels of oil or four times the amount of the oil spilled by the Exxon Valdez supertanker of Alaska in 1989, one of the world's worst ecological disasters. The potential damage is enough to make it the fifth largest oil spill from a tanker in history once it explodes. According to the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, a major spill would destroy marine life, expose millions of people to highly polluted air, devastate fishing communities, force nearby ports to close, and disrupt global commercial shipping through the Suez Canal. The complex operation to salvage the rusting tanker could be completed in less than three weeks, according to the United Nations. Reporting, this has been Melchizedek Kadis, SMNI News. Russia's decision to withdraw from the UN-backed Black Sea Green Deal last week has sent shockwaves among global commodity markets, including Egypt, a country dependent on wheat as a major strategic commodity. Yasser Hakim tells us more. Suspending the Black Sea Grain deal has been bad news for the largest wheat importer in the world. Egypt consumes more than 21 million tons of wheat a year. More than half of this amount is imported. 80% of Egypt's wheat supplies come from the warring Russia and Ukraine. Wheat is a crucial ingredient in making bread, which serves as the main food staple for Egyptians. However, the local market has not been affected by the latest developments yet. Throughout the crisis, we haven't felt any shortage so far. Egypt's silo capacity was raised to 3.5 million tons in 2022 from 1.25 million in 2021. The Minister of Supply has continuously reassured the public that there is no need for panic despite the recent global grain market's developments. Up till now, the effect is not uh, highly uh, pronounced. We have more than five months reserves, which are very, very safe and very good. The increased silo capacity has come at a cost. 
as the price of wheat surged by 10% following the collapse of the Black Sea grain deal. Consequently, cash-strapped Cairo had to negotiate a $400 million loan with the United Arab Emirates to finance future wheat shipments. But the Egyptian government has been adopting a long-term strategy to help it become more resilient against external shocks. To bolster its food security, the North African country is diversifying its grain sources by importing from countries such as France, Bulgaria, the United States and Argentina. Additionally, it is ramping up wheat production domestically. Egypt announced an ambitious plan to cultivate wheat in new plots of land. The total size of the new cultivated land will reach 3.2 million fadans. These are very commendable efforts and open a door to end this issue and achieve self-sufficiency. Officials have been supporting farmers like Mohi Mustafa by providing them with updated technology to enhance their production levels. State experts are giving us technical assistance, weekly supervision, laser equipment and seeds for free to use here. This type of seed doubled the yield on the same size of land and at less cost. Through this scheme, the government aims to achieve local production exceeding 55% of total consumption by 2025 and reaching 70% by the end of the decade. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo, Egypt.